I'm here live at the post game show for Super Bowl 52 with winning quarterback Nick Foles and studio analyst Louis Rocco. Now, Nick, how does it feel coming into the season as a backup to have just won the greatest prize in all of American sports? You know, it feels great. Not many people expected me to be starting in Super Bowl 52, but the fact that Carson Wentz, amazing player, he could have been MVP if he was still here, but um, I just, you know, did it. I don't know how, but thanks to my teammates, you know, we got this win for Philadelphia. Now, Lewis, uh, you were watching the game from a different angle. Is there anything you saw during the game that you thought made Nick Foles stand out from all the other backups that have tried to win Super Bowls? And some of them skied, some of them haven't. What stood out for Nick? I just think it was the leadership, which is the most important part. You know, Nick was able to step right in there, and instead of having the entire team crumble without Carson Wentz in there, he was able to, you know, pick everyone up and say, we can still do this. I noticed that, you know, in the when, during the playoff run, he was a little bit shaky against Atlanta, but during Minnesota in the NFC Championship game, he picked it right up, and they were able to run away with it. And you saw it here. You know, when they were down 33-32, Nick stepped right in there and said, we can do this, and he was able to get a touchdown, and the defense stepped up for him too. So, you know, it was the entire team supporting each other, and it was a great team win, you know. It wasn't really any individual on this one. It was a great team win, and the entire city of Philadelphia will be celebrating this one for years to come. Coming to this game, uh, Nick, a lot of people doubted your prowess, saying uh, your season was already over when Carson Wentz went down. What do you say to all the people that doubted you and doubted the team? They were wrong. Thank you, Nick. And uh, now, Lewis, one final question. What do you see gonna happen, going to happen next year for Philadelphia coming into the season with Carson Wentz, who's an excellent quarterback, but also now Nick Foles, who's a backup, but the Super Bowl winner and the hero this year. Do you see any controversy on the horizon? Um, you know, I don't really see any controversy happening. You know, aside from possibly Nick getting traded for some very good uh, value because he is a Super Bowl winning quarterback, I can see, you know, Nick just being fine and content with being the backup quarterback. I think he really does love Philadelphia. The city of Philadelphia loves him, and I think he has a really good relationship with Carson Wentz. So I think that those two could possibly, you know, still be on the roster come week one. And we don't know if Carson Wentz will be fully healthy by week one. So you can see Nick Foles still, you know, play for a little bit. But I do think once Carson comes back, I think Nick is the type of guy to say, my time is finished and he'll come on the bench and he'll be, a, you know, a very good supporting player. All right. Thank you, Lewis. Congratulations, Nick. Signing off for Fox Sports, I'm JJ Post, alongside Nick Foles and Lewis Rock.